Hey there guys, I'm Danks564 and this is a new Let's Play series of Elix. Elix is a new open world RPG from Piranha Bytes, the guys that made Gothic and Reason. And regarding my computer tycoon Let's Play, uh, there was a patch and my saves just got corrupted, I think. Uh, so, we will be playing Elix now and... Um, Let's just get into it. Uh, there is a s intro cinematic that will basically explain the world and how everything works. So let's just get get to it. Magalan, home to a civilization of millions, until the comet hit. Earthquakes shattered its cities. Firestorms swept the planet. And as Magalan fell into darkness. The survivors faced a world that was unrecognizable. Fighting amongst the ruins of the old world, new factions arose. The Berserkers. The Clerics. The Outlaws, each with their own vision of the future. But it wasn't only the struggle for scarce old world resources that drove them, for the Comet had bought something new. Elix, an element unknown to Magalan. It could fuel technology, change the evolution of life, open new abilities to those with the will to control it. For the clerics, it drove new technological innovation. For the outlaws, drugs to free their minds. To berserkers, it gave the power of magic. Seduced by Elix's power, some began to consume it. Addicted, overwhelmed, most degenerated into vicious, mindless mutants. But there were some who could control their addiction. To them, at the cost of their emotions, Elix offered strength, focus, and stamina. These people called themselves the Albs. Seemingly unstoppable, the Albs have waged war on all who will stand between them and their need to obtain Elix. Advancing from the frozen wastes of Zaycor and their fortress Ice Palace, the Alves threatened the future of all the factions on Magalan. Now, as Alb forces prepare their final assault, Jax, renowned Alb commander, is sent on a solo mission. One Alb selected to change the fate of Magalan. So yeah, that was cinematic. I actually enjoyed it. Uh, very stylishly made, I think. And also, unlike any other RPGs by Piranha Buds, we now have a named hero, unlike everything else. Usually it's nameless, usually it's, you know, lost in his memory or something. But hey, now we have a name. Also textures, God damn it! look at, just look at those textures on the armor. And, and I'm not usually the person who like cares or even notices how bad textures are or something, but it's just so obvious here. <laughs> At least some of them. And we will obviously be betrayed. I've played a little bit, like I've played maybe less than half an hour, just to make sure everything's working. Consequence for failure. I know making sure that the guy is dead is usually a good idea, I think. 
Why do they, the bad guys always just assume the hero is dead? <laughs> Seriously. And we're obviously already being looted. Because why not? Yeah, and I've noticed that, that he became actually human color before, like in this, in the intro. He was pale. It's probably his, uh... Because he, he's an alb, right? They have uh, elix addiction or something like that. Or they use elix, as far as I understand. Small healing herb. Okay. I should be dead. I better move before they come back to finish the job. Head don't think we can go through there. No. Let's just pick everything up that we can find here. Arrows. Okay, that's good. No way I don't think there is to go up there, right? No, I don't think so. Hey, but there's a flame leaf here. Pretty sure you can craft stuff with, uh, with plants eventually. Poison leaf. Cool. But, uh, I haven't gotten that far. So, let's get up. Let's see what we can see. I must have been here for days. The Elix is gone from my system. I feel weak. Think. Oh, of course you are. Think, Jax. My weapons. My armor. Did Calix take them? No. No. If Calix had seen I was still alive, he would have finished the job. Nothing here. It was someone else. Okay, is, is he let's move it. And There's a red incoming. Or if the berserkers find me. Yeah, and it, it wouldn't be sure. Piranha Bytes game if uh, controls wouldn't be wonky, wouldn't it? Like, quick attacks on mouth button, heavy attacks on E. Come on. Uh, come on, we we are out of stamina. The stamina is that green bar around right right where my health is, and in the lower left corner there is a, there is a bar that's a combo bar. Like if I, if I'll be able to get it above the middle line, I'll be able to use a special move, I guess. I'll try to demonstrate it. Just in a moment. People. There mustn't be a scrap of Elix left in my body. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he he just mentioned, by the way, that his his uh, skin is just like of a regular people. It looks like it took a lot of damage in the crash. That's unsalvageable. I'm wondering where Crony U4 is. If it's still active, then I might find it here in a den. Finding that drone would be helpful. Yep. And we've got mission. Half defect in tin can. Crony U4, a combo drone, apparently survived the raider crash. How does he know that? Like he he found out found the crash drone and he just assumes that the other one's it's fine, I'll I'll find him. Uh we'll go up. Cause um there is an oversized chicken there. <laughs> very, very, very common uh, thing in in the games of the Piranha Bites, right? They're they're like oversized chickens in all of them, I think. I'm pretty sure Reason had had them. I I haven't played Reason all that much. Cause I didn't really like it. But there was definitely in Gothic. Is there any anything in there? No, I don't think so. Okay. And there should be uh, a thing there. Like an amulet or something? And as you see, I can press Q if if I had any stamina left, and it would have executed. Uh, I need to get away from it a bit. Let it come to me. Oh, crap. Yeah, it, it hits like a truck. At least right now, right? Because I'm, I'm quite low level. Oh, crap. How about... How about no? Bad bird.
And Q. So that was good. How about you come closer to me, buddy? And we'll follow you and we'll probably finish you off. Ow. Well, it, it did some damage to me. Uh, yeah, I don't think I want to use the quick slot right now. We'll probably be able to get some sort of food. Yeah, meat restores only one health, so I'm not sure how how useful it will be. But there is some stuff here. There's a water bottle that can restore some health. Some arrows, which is nice. Anything else useful here? Doesn't look like it. Um, there is a health potion here, though. And the amulet of the adventurer. Which is pretty damn good. I think. Uh, where is it? It's it's here. There it is. <laughs> that leaf is a bit annoying. So it gives us lockpicking skill. And also gives some armor. And skills in this game are, well, just as in most uh, Piranha Bytes games, right? As far as I know. As far as I played, I guess. You have these skills that... Uh, are unlocked by training them at a trainer for money and they have some pre-requirements and lockpicking skill has only three tiers I guess which is pretty damn good so one is this quite a lot I would say so yeah we have uh, I guess crafting skills survival skills there's like personality skills probably uh, allows us to persuade people better and stuff yeah and there are three groups of skills for factions berserkers outlaws and clerics as far as and can understand it right clerics are high tech sort of brotherhood of steel kind of guys and they use psi powers i'm not sure what they are though um the outlaws they mostly use like boosters as far as i understand and berserkers use mostly melee and uh, and magic. So there's that. Okay, I think that's all that was here. So we'll continue on into the ruins. Continue on with our mission. Whatever it is. How about we drink some water? We'll restore some health. Um, there was there was a, a thing there. I mean, there was a, a plant. It might be useful. Never know. How about we go down? And get into the ruins. Okay. What do we have here? Nothing. But you can also kill rats. <laughs> I know. I found it fi funny. Oh, there's a small yellow gemstone, which I'm not entirely sure how to use it yet. But you probably put them into slots with some weapons. There's wine, duct tape, mug, casket. Okay. There doesn't appear to be any limitations on how much you can carry. We got a bow. Cool. So I'll usually I'll just think I'll pick up everything and then we'll figure out if we need anything of any of that and or can we sell any of that? Pretty sure we can sell most stuff, right? And I don't think there's anything useful left in here. Okay, let's go. Uh, can't food? That's all that's here. I'd better move on. Some more more canned food. Healing potion, good. Pick locks. Lock picks. Scrap. And is there anything useful here? Doesn't look like it. Well, let's kill some rats. <laughs> Holy crap, there's your big brother. Um, stamina is out. Come on. Come on, Q, Q, Q! Good. Uh, no, I don't want to sit in chair saying thank you. Can we please stand up? 
and kill that rat. There are shotgun shells here. Haven't ever found a shotgun yet, but hey, there's a shell. There's a map piece. Which I don't know if it shows anything useful at the moment. Probably it, it is, and maybe when we get all the pieces, it will show us where exactly to go. Because, well, the map itself doesn't, doesn't look like it's all that useful, frankly. Where is it, by the way? It should be somewhere in here. Or is it... No, it's probably somewhere in here. I just... Hmm. Oh, it's probably here. There we go. Map piece 3. I'm assuming there are other pieces, because that one is numbered. <laughs> and I cannot really tell what piece of this is it. Because the map is really pretty big. If you can... I'm pretty sure it's definitely bigger than Gothic 3. So... That map is by itself doesn't give me anything, more or less. But hey, here's hoping we're gonna get more map pieces. But let's loot everything first. Come on, rat. You need to go. Uh, those elixirs, I believe that's just money. And is there anything else here? Doesn't look like it. Well, might as well pick up what Red has. I do have to say, the world does feel like it's a big world. I haven't seen a lot of it, but it does feel quite expensive. And unfortunately, I cannot go up there. Which I would like to try, I would like to see what's in there. But there's an invisible wall, unfortunately. And it doesn't look like there's anything there. Just a chair. So, let's go down. Initiated. Remain calm and proceed to the indicated exits immediately. Follow all instructions from service personnel. Thank you for your visit to the observatory. What? What? Like? Made this sequence activated? Activate? Me going down the elevator? That seems a bit odd, doesn't it? Some luck. Okay. Cool. The guy that took my armor must have dropped it. Now, all I need to do is find a way out, cross kilometers of enemy territory, and find out why my brother tried to kill me. What could go wrong? Indeed. Uh, picked up some metal scrap. Do we have anything here? Nope. Doesn't look like it. There's a chest. Some pants that give some armor, which is nice. And they do indeed change the look, which is nice. So... So, the look changed a little bit, but well, it's just, just pants, right? So, mostly I think just boots changed. Uh, there's a healing potion, good. Toilet paper, always nice. Especially in the post-apocalypse. Metal scrap, torch. Healing potion, what do we have in the locker? Some cigarettes and uh, toilet paper. I'm pretty sure it's just, you know, something to sell. Um, did I did I loot everything? I think I did. Okay, let's get moving then. Some tape. Maybe it's used in crafting. Mm. 
No red will, live, will be left alive. Another healing potion, which is nice. I can see duct tape over there. Okay. Another cigarette. Okay. How about we eat something? Let's uh, let's max out our uh, our health and drink wine a little bit. Pretty sure that should cover it, right? <coughs> Do we have anything in here? Nope, doesn't look like it. Oh, there's an iron ore. What I should probably do also, I should probably put... Where is it? The torch. Magnesium torch. I should probably put it into the quick slot. Also, UI, like, come on. Can I, I just drag it to the quick slot instead of doing that? That's healing, that's soup. Okay, I think we're good. And more magnesium torches. Edan, the land of the berserkers. Looks like that's it. If they recognize me, they there is a dude sitting over there. For him. So yeah, I shouldn't probably mention that I'm an elb. Because they don't like them too much. We have a bow as well, though. I should probably equip the bow into quick, into quick slot. Also, if you wanted to kill him, you probably should have used the bow. Come on, get up. If you're gonna make a habit of attacking people without warning, you should get better at it. I heard you before you even left the ruins. Someone tried to kill me. They stole my armor and my equipment. Then I find you here waiting to finish the job. First you attack me. Then you accuse me of being a thief and a murderer? If I wanted you dead, we wouldn't be having this conversation. Trust me. You need to apologize. <laughs> you need to apologize. Yeah, well, that'll make everything better. Also, didn't you have an, an axe and now you have a sword? You are not a thief and I might trust you. Prove you're not the thief and I might trust you. Only facts matter, not words. Huh. Trusting people quickly out here is as good a way to get killed as walking around without a decent weapon. I think he can be our companion. <laughs> very, very lucky. I can help you find a safe place and new equipment. If you stop trying to attack me. Why would you help me? That's my job. I look for people out here and help them reach Goliath. You'll be safe there. Safe? You could be some kind of slaver. What is it you really want? I want this war to be over. Until then, Goliath needs more people to survive. And people need a safe place to go. Well, a safer place than being out here on your own. But you're welcome to stay and risk being picked up by an alb raiding party. Between them and the rot boars, you won't live long. Say, you didn't see anyone else up there in the ruins, did you? You're the first person I found this trip, and it would save me a trip up there to check. Yeah, no, not really. Haven't seen anybody either. Hmm. <laughs> Don't want to lie. I mean, what's the point? Yeah, you can save the effort. There's no one up there. You can save yourself the effort. There's no one up there. Well, then you got really hmm. lucky. An alb raider crashed a few days ago, and their scouts came through looking for it. Cold Trust decreased. Me, you don't want to run into a party of albs. But hey, enough talk. You need to decide what you're gonna do. I'm going back to Goliath, and you can come with me if you like. Safety, security, and. You can find work to earn enough to buy equipment. If you want a chance to survive, it's the best offer you'll get. That's why I joined the Berserkers. Out here, drifting and hoping to stay alive. I knew it was only a matter of time before my luck ran out. I know joining a faction doesn't appeal to everyone, but it gave me purpose. And what have you got to lose right now? Nothing from what I can see. Hmm, interesting. So apparently we're gonna get to the Berserkers first. I wonder if I can, like, join them, get the skill for magic and stuff, and then join another faction. 
Or will I get access to like Berserker skills before I join the faction? So I could join the other faction later on. That's interesting to consider. And apparently he like into all that I don't trust you, I, I will be careful kind of shit. So we'll go with that. And I think yeah, he'll probably can be our companion if we if we join probably Berserkers, I'm thinking. Because that he likes that and he doesn't like that stuff. I will come with you, but that doesn't mean I trust you. You sound like you're being brainwashed, yeah, that's probably not not something he'll like. Let's go with that. Trust is earned. That goes both ways. You'd better remember that. Every choice you make adds up in this world. The way you speak to people will determine your course in life. Just take a look at yourself. No armor, no weapons, no companions. You've not exactly succeeded in life, have you? Wow. <laughs> All that changes today. I wouldn't Every say that. I was a renowned commander of foul forces. When the next Alb raiding party comes down from the north looking for Elix, the people of Goliath will defend you. You won't see the inside of a converter with us to protect you. Instead, you'll get a chance to prove yourself. To join us. Why do you want to help me? Like I said, Goliath needs people. Warriors, cultivators, hunters, storekeepers. Whatever your skills, we can find a place for you. Okay. And so you'll just trade me and give me equipment, just like that, right? Huh? Me and give me equipment. If you stay, you'll have to earn your place. But be you cleric, outlaw, or alb, that's true everywhere. Sure, you'll get given orders and you'll have to follow the law, but it's not like you have things easy out here. Look, we can keep talking, but at some point, you gotta decide. So, what's it gonna be? Are you gonna stay here? Or come with me. Come with me if you want to leave. Yeah, I'll trust you for now. Your actions and words seem to match. I will trust you. For now. <laughs> yes, well, I'll take that as a compliment. You won't regret it. Combat, magic. If those interest you, then the Berserkers offer training to people who join their ranks. We'll make a warrior of you. We should get going. <laughs> Reminds me of Mulan. <laughs> you won't last long if a pack of them turn up here. Follow me to Goliath, and you can earn the Alexa to buy armor and supplies. Trust me, you'll need them. Okay. I wanted to find a thief who took my armor. I want to find the thief who took my armor. Well, for anything stolen near here recently, I would start with Ray. He's an outlaw I found out here a few days ago. Very jumpy. Definitely looking for something. Where do I find him? Huh, I don't know. He disappeared off to the northeast. I'm guessing he went back to Tavar. But, hey, I wouldn't rush after him. He's probably sold your armor by now. Okay, I'll come with you to Goliath. I will come with you to Goliath. Lead the way. Then follow me. And if we lose each other for any reason, you'll find Goliath to the east, at the foot of the mountain. Just look for the light from our mana shrine. You can see that from a good distance away. Oh, and the name's Duras. Pleased to meet you. Just lead the way. Very well. And keep up. Keep your eyes open. Okay, so just in case we lose him. Is there any indication where this Goliath is? In the foothill of the mountain. Uh, to the east. I'm assuming this is the mountain. Right? So I guess this thing here is Goliath. Probably. Well, it does look like a town. This is probably like... Some other faction territory. Because it's color-coded for your convenience. This is probably the other faction's territory. Probably, I don't know, this... And this is definitely the Alps territory. Right, because they were talking about uh, how they are in the north. Uh, okay, we can go over there. What do we have over there? Actions like sprinting. Yeah, cost stamina. Got it. Thanks. Doesn't look like there's anything interesting. There's a some sort of a huge beastie over there, but otherwise, it doesn't look like it'll lead anywhere. 
No, not really. It's pretty far. Anything that would probably be of interest. So, also, I think I need to put my you to somewhere like this, and I'll think I'll put healing potions. Oh, we have a healing potion of like medium strength. I'll push it to two and you will know, push it to four oh, I mean three and four and I don't, I don't think we'll need large healing potion for now it's not like we have huge amount of health really Let's oh go. there's a, there is a ruin there I'll check that out there's a healing potion over there oh and there's an axe here cool let's uh let's see what the sex is Frankly, not much better than the iron bar, surprisingly. But still a little bit better. Also, how about we save here and let's see what's in that ruin. Because who knows, we might die. <laughs> and no one wants to start from wherever the last autosave was. Because I'm not sure where it was. <laughs> okay, there's a troll leaf. Does it... Does it give, like, strength... Because troll leaf sounds like it no, it just gives health. Well, maybe if we if we transform it with alchemy or something, right? Because troll leaf sounds like it it should probably give strength or something. Okay, some sort of message. Last message too. From Judy. They rejected almost everyone. They promised salvation for the world, but it was only ever for the chosen Kalan the Great Light Kalan the Great Lie you brought us here with hope it's Kalan we die away from holy us. shit there's someone there uh, sorry buddy you have a huge freaking axe how about you meet my friend over there God, good thing I've kind of noticed him before he actually attacked me. Um, hey, friend. What's her name? Duros. How about... Oh, crap, there's a tree. How about How about before you get moving, you, you kill that dude over there? Shit, stop it! Hey, hey, friend. Are you ready to go on? No, not really. I think we, we need to... Oh, come on. Seriously, He's right here. Will you will you please attack him? Do I need to like put him right on top of you for you to attack him okay. or something? Watch your step. No shit. This area once <laughs> well, <laughs> we're about to get attacked, friend. Uh, <laughs> that that guy with the huge axe right behind me. He has a uh, I don't know some something tells me he wants to attack. Uh, if it's so dangerous, why do keep going through here? Magalan almost died when the comet hit. A living, breathing planet turned to ash and dust. But the berserkers are using their magic to bring our world back to life. Just look around you. Idan is the greenest place on Magalan. They need more people, and they offer anyone who comes the same chance to start over. We should move on. One downside of all this plant life is that you can't see the rot boards coming. Okay, so, so first far I understand the berserkers are sort of like druids, right? Using magic to he grow force or something. Okay, let's keep going, and if you would be so kind, please attack that guy that is right behind me. Thank you, thank you so much. How about I use my bow to attack that guy? I don't think I did any damage. Um, with my shot. Yeah, I... Don't do any damage at all to him. Okay, at least he does some damage. Oh, come on. He's right. Yeah, my shots don't do uh, any damage at all. How about if I... Yeah. Basically a sliver... And Q. Uh, yeah. Well, at least I'll probably get... Oh, I leveled up. Okay. You are a jutor. I guess that's my... my thing. 
with V, distribute attribute points, find a teacher to spend learning points. Okay, V. Mm, what do I want? The question is, not sure. I, I actually want to go with ranged weapons, like with actual guns and stuff. For that I will need dexterity and intelligence. I will need dexterity for melee weapons as well, apparently. But right now, right now I don't think we're gonna get any ranged weapons, and at least not a lot of them. And I don't have any arrows left. You know what, I'll, I'll, I'll leave it for now. How about we get th that guy's axe? Hey. Come on, wh where is his axe? Shouldn't... come on, really? Did he drop it somewhere? Oh, come on. No, right? He should he should have That's usually how it works in gothic games, right? They have their weapons always. And apparently not in this one. Well, I guess I'll make a cut here and we'll uh, continue in the next episode. Thank you for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it and uh, goodbye.